just got a Huxon in the mail. We're going to take all the electronics out of it and put it into this body. So immediately we can I'll leave that on. Okay, so let's see how this thing flies right off the bat. Alright, so it's not so stable, so we're going to have to calibrate this. To do this, all you do is you put this stick in the bottom right, and then you wiggle this one back and forth until these lights blink. So now you can see it's way more stable. So I'm going to unplug the battery, pull this out. We're going to take all the propellers. You might need something to lever them off. I usually use a knife, but screwdrivers work. As long as it's a flathead. There's these little rubber things. To take these off, you just peel it back. It's like... Yeah. Okay, so now there's uh, three screws on the bottom. And the last one. This is what it looks like on the inside. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these wires out a little bit. Make sure that your soldering gun doesn't touch the motor wires because you can strip away the insulation and then if they come in contact with each other that could be a problem. I'm going to take all the LEDs off first. Make sure you're very careful and you take your time when you're soldering this stuff. If you don't have a soldering gun, uh, I'll put a link in the description for buying one off Amazon. And I get all my parts off of Amazon Prime so that I can get the two day free shipping. So you're going to need a pliers for this. Don't grip the motor too tightly. So you just do that and twist. And you need to pull on the wires, not the motor, because the wires can come out. all of the wires through this and then solder them onto this board. So we're going to put the M1 wires through there. Yeah. Just like that. And then we can solder these. Spread them apart. The white wire goes on the plus and the black wire goes on the minus. Alright, so now we've got M1 on. Let's do... M3. So now you're going to want to take the other type of motor and branch the wires through. Red is plus and blue is minus.
Okay, so we got those two on. Let's twist it over and go to the other side. We're gonna put this one the opposite from its same color. Branch it through, making sure not to put it through any other wires. And solder its wires on. Remember, black is negative and white is positive. And we're going to press this down. Make sure all the wires are all the way through. You can tug on them a little bit, they won't come out. Depends on how well you soldered them. Press down the circuit board and I'm going to put the screws back in just to secure it better. There you go. Okay, so to put these motors on, what I do is I spin them around twice and then you slide the wires through here. This will keep them from getting chopped by any propellers. On the rubber band first. So. You can use like tape and stuff, but I find I found this little rubber band by luck, so it's great for securing down the battery. Now we can put the guards on. These will sort of protect your wires, and then you just snap it on there. Make sure this is going through that gap, and then that'll hold your motor in place. Well, this one says A on it. That means the A propeller goes to the top right, but let's actually get the white A propeller. Yeah, here it is. You put that at the top right, this one at the bottom, this one at the top. This is a B propeller, so B's go like this, A's go like this. Now, you can put the battery on. So grab the two rubber bands, stick the battery through, and plug it in. Turn on the remote. And you're good to go. Oh, this thing actually is out of battery, but it flies a ton faster when it's fully charged. Alright.